Okay, can you explain to me what occurred? So I came to the property this morning and as soon as I was ready to make a phone call, I called Tucson Electric Power. Do you reside here? And this is my only residence that I own in Tucson. Okay. And uh, the Tucson Electric people, Power people would not reconnect my electricity. And I made two phone calls to them. Uh, the result was the same over the two phone calls, that they would not reconnect the electricity to the property. They engaged in what appears to be an illegal electrical disconnect about a week and a half ago at this property, and the property has been dead since. It has had no electrical power. So you have my no security, electricity? My security system is completely dead. It does not work anymore. Okay. The batteries have gone flat on it. And I can't do anything. My house is unusable. And I've been trying to get it reconnected. This is the third request that I've made to them since they disconnected my power. You said the third request? Uh-huh. Okay and they're refusing to reconnect the power and i have a name for you the person. did they give you an explanation as to why they're refusing they will not explain anything to me they just refuse to tell me why the power is disconnected and they refuse to give me any information whatsoever okay. regarding you, the disconnection before the disconnection was the utilities under your name the utilities are in my name, the whole, everything to do with this house Residences is under your name and everything, yeah. okay. So there's no reason why they couldn't provide you with the information? That's right. Okay. So everything is in my name in this house, I own the house, my name is on the deed. Okay. And who did you speak with then? I spoke with a person called Nicole, it's N-I-C-O-L-E, and her surname is Santa Cruz, which is S-A-N-T-A. C R U Z, and she says she is a supervisor in the metering section at TEP. And I have two phone numbers for her. A metering section or center? Metering. Mm -hmm. That's all I have. She says she's a supervisor in metering. Okay. What's her phone number? Uh, her office number is 520 745 3419. And she has a cell phone number, which is 520-465-3224. Okay. And when you're ready, can you produce your ID? Deputy Lopez, batch number 6848. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and when did you speak to Nicole? Uh, I made two phone calls, one at 9.15 and one at 9.30. I recorded both phone calls. And that is today, today's date? That is today, the 29th of February, 2016. Okay, and still no explanation as to why they couldn't reconnect your service? There is no explanation as to why my service was disconnected, and there is no explanation as to why they are refusing to reconnect that service, okay, despite there... three requests. Okay. And I will be calling them every day that I'm at this property, requesting reconnection, and if they don't reconnect me, I will be calling 911 as a response to that. I want my electricity reconnected immediately. Okay. And you advise TPD of that? I would advise sorry, uh, Tucson Police Department. I mean, uh, online. Yeah, TEP. So, yeah, Tucson Electric Power have been advised that I want my power reconnected. I've also filed complaints to the Arizona Attorney General. I filed complaints to the Arizona regulator that regulates electricity, the Arizona Corporate Commission, Corporation Commission. Okay. I filed complaints to the Better Business Bureau, and I filed complaints to the Sheriff, Internal Affairs, about what went on at my property when they disconnected, because the Sheriff was present during the disconnection. And he allowed the disconnection to take place, and he went... The Sheriff's Department was present at the time of this... They That's right. There's power. an Internal Affairs investigation going on right now regarding this. Okay. And, uh... As I say, there's quite a few people who know that this power is disconnected to this home and I want it connected immediately and nobody is reconnecting the power immediately. And 
I want to know what's going on. Why isn't this power being reconnected? There is absolutely no reason for this power to be up to this harm. My bill is paid in full. TEP owes me $87. I, pay, I have a credit with them. And uh, I'm just mystified. I'm completely mystified why the power is disconnected. I'm completely mystified why they won't reconnect it. And it's harassment. This is harassment. This is harassment from Tucson Electric Power to one of the customers who okay. is fully law abiding and is fully paid up on the bill, has completely normal electrical usage for the electrical loads. And it's beyond a joke. So, you know, the sheriff needs to start arresting people regarding this because people need to be arrested for this harassment that I'm receiving. Are they making contact with you? They are sending me emails, they're telling me to call them to re reconnect, which I did today. And when I call them to reconnect, they, they say no. So they're just messing me around. Okay. And, and the emails that you received are from who? They're from Nicole Santa Cruz. For the name, the number you gave me with uh, mm -hmm. Nicole? Yeah. So okay. she's the person So it was directly to her? That's correct. Okay. Well, I'll try to get a hold of her, see if she can give me a reason. If she's able to provide me with any information, I will leave you the case number, okay. my name and badge number. Okay. Um, I added Tucson, uh, I'm sorry, Tucson Electric Power number on here and okay. the Better Business Bureau, which you always said you already spoke to. Uh -huh. If I'm able to get a hold of Nicole, I will... So Talk I'm going to, to be again. at the, the property till 3 o'clock today. I will let my power on by 3 o'clock today. That is the response I'm expecting from the sheriff. So uh, could you tell me how I'm going to find out what the outcome of this is today? I can obtain, uh, attempt to obtain information from Nicole. And, and, and that's all I can do really so you're at, going this, to, at this point. Yes. You're going to, once you've spoken to Nicole, you will be coming back and speaking to me? I will let you know what she said if she gives me any information. So I will hear something today from you? You should be able to hear from me today. And it will be a personal call or? Um, I will let you know depending on her call load if I can come back. Okay. I'll try to get a hold of her right now. Okay. And uh, just for your information, please make sure it's in the... Uh, Sheriff's records that all communication with me is recorded. Absolutely. And it's for posting onto the internet. So okay. I believe that's a completely legal activity. And while you're here, could you uh, could you detail the uh, the legal law on in Pima County regarding recording phone calls and video? Of no, people? I cannot do that. Why not? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I'm told. Okay. Could you could you tell me? Could you get somebody to send me that information? I will attempt to get that information that I told you, and I will come back if I get a hold of her. Okay? And can you get somebody to follow up on the recording of phone calls and recording of video laws in Pima County? Okay, sounds good. Okay. I will let you I know. Look forward Thank to getting you, sir. Thank you.